Hello everyone. So now let's do the part two. If you remember, we done the ASA basic configuration part one. We left some comments. So now we will do that one and we are going to learn some more stuff. So let's start. Let me take the console of ASA. Just now I power on the ASA. Okay. It will load and let me take the router CLI. And we are going to learn some more commands how we can configure the ASA, what different option available in the ASA. In the coming classes, we are going to learn lot of stuff. Slowly, slowly, we are going to understand the concept. Okay. So it is loading. It will take some time because just now I power on the ASA firewall. Okay. Let me move this up here and let's see where we are still loading and the router is okay i can press no and this one is still loading so if you remember in our previous class we learned some stuff like uh, how we can set up the factory default setting how we can erase the configuration and i hope you remember we done the unprivileged mode privilege mode we discussed that one also configuration mode sub configuration mode we discussed in our previous class okay so now what we are going to check, we are going to check the show commands and how we can save the configuration also in the ASA firewall host name, how we can change. We already checked. If you want to remove that host name and bring back to the original host name, how we can do, we will see that also and how we can enable the password. We will see and uh, we can see the name if inside and name if outside that is security level outside what is outside security level what is inside security level we are going to see that one if you see here the cli of the asa here it is asking if i say yes then it will give me the option to write uh, each and everything like in the router also we will say no when we power on the router if you want to configure uh, from the basic each and everything we will say yes and we will do give the name and so many parameter but now i don't want to do that uh, step by step just i need to have the cli of the asa firewall that's why i wrote no here and i am here in the cli of the asa that is this is a default name cisco asa is the default name and i am in the unprivileged mode okay i am in the unprivileged mode now if i want to go to privilege mode i will write enable and there is a no password i will press enter and now i am in the privilege mode i need to configure the host name so i will go in the configuration mode okay and now i will write host name asa if i want to remove this asa host name how we will remove in the router we are writing no host name if you remember like this we are writing but it will not work in the asa in ASA, if you want to do that one, what command we need to write? Let me show you first of all in the router. If you see, this is a R1, okay? Example, I go in the configuration mode. I change the host name as a R1. Okay, now I don't need, I will write no host name R1. So this will remove. If you see here before it is a R1, when I write here no host name, automatically this will remove and the old host name, whatever is present, that came. But if I do same thing, it is not working in the ASA firewall. If you want to remove the host name and bring the original host name, the uh, before what host name you have that one, then we need to write clear config, clear config host name, configure host name. Okay. And press enter. When I see, when I type this clear configure host name, so whatever host name is present, it will remove and it will bring the uh, the other host name, whatever host name present before this ASA. Before I configure this one, whatever is available that will come here. Now it is there. Okay, so this way we can remove if you want to remove. Okay, so let me bring back to the ASA. Okay, and if I want to save the configuration, generally what we are doing, we are writing write WR and press enter. We are doing right like this WR and press enter. Same thing I am doing here WR and press enter. If I want to save the configuration as we are doing in the router and also we can do the other way also like we can write copy uh, copy running configuration to startup configuration same thing as we do in the router 
press enter it will save the configuration but if you remember whenever you are saving or you are doing anything you need to go in the privilege mode in the router if you do here wr you will get the error right you need to exit this configuration mode you need to write here like this but in the asa no issue you can do from here also i am in the global configuration mode i am writing wr or i am writing copy running to startup i can save the configuration okay so this way we can save here also and let's see the show comments if you want to check show command we can write show and running configuration and press enter so whatever is running it will appear here okay and uh, but in router if you want to check like this you cannot go do in the configuration mode example i go here i will write show running it will give me error if i need to check this one i need to be exit this mode i need to write show running here running configuration same command we are using but here different mode here i can use anywhere if i want to use here also i can use here like i want to check the startup configuration i write show startup configuration press okay i am doing in the privilege mode if you want to do this in the global configuration mode also it will work in the asa firewall but it will not work in the router okay i hope you got this one so now if you want to put the password we can put the password let me show you what i want to show you imagine you want to keep the password for the telnet then you need to write like this p a s s w d okay p a s s w o r d is not there for telnet and whatever password example i want to give admin when i put this one this is a telnet password whenever you are trying to access via telnet you need to use this password and here this is the spelling you need to follow follow p a s s w d not w o r d okay you need to remember when we do the telnet you will have more idea about this one and what else example if i want to put the enable password i can do enable and write the password whatever password you want to give i am giving same admin so this is a enable same as we do in the router also okay let me show you here in the router how we do enable password if i go here i will write enable password admin same thing here also i am doing in the asa firewall to go in the enable mode i put the enable password what we can say for this one we can say like uh, enable password uh, to the to log into the asa firewall like unauthorized guy cannot access if you set the password if you want to remove we can remove also remove enable mode password if you want to remove we can remove that one also but anyhow let's see first of all the what we can say how we can assign the ip we will see that one okay so if you see here first of all let me show here do we have any ip here show ip interface brief this command is used in the router if you put here you will have the error if you want to run you need to write show interface ip brief and if you see here we have the interface e0 that is ethernet 0 1 2 3 and we don't have any ip address if you see here we don't have any ip address so now i need to assign the ip if you see here in the ethernet one i am going to assign 192.168.1.100 in the ethernet zero i need to assign 192.168.2.100 so how i can do i need to put interface ethernet zero right ethernet zero i am inside the ethernet zero where here i am here then i will write ip address same thing as we do in the router 192.168 2.100 then subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then we will write no shirt and after that you need to write some more thing okay let me show you we assign the ip here right but if you check here if you write show interface ip brief you cannot see ip here okay you cannot see ip here i already assigned the ip but it is not enabled still why because whenever we are assigning the ip address to the interface we need to assign the security level also we need to give name if inside or outside so automatically they will define themselves as a security level or we can manually also we can define so how i can define i am inside the same interface if you see i am here only i am under this interface ethernet zero i assign this ip address i put no shirt but still i check i cannot find the ip to that interface so now what i will do i will write name name if okay name if inside 
or outside you need to check this interface is going to outside or inside so in this scenario we are saying in this scenario we are saying from here to here this is our inside okay in this scenario this is inside and this scenario we are saying outside imagine this is outside or isp network or anything outside so here i will define name if outside to this interface name if inside to this interface okay so let's do here what i wrote here name if inside i will write outside because e0 i use as a outside and i will press enter if you see when i put here name if outside automatically what information we are getting security level for the outside set to zero by default so by default they are going to set as a zero okay and also if you want to do manually also we can do what we can do we can write security level and you can define here if you press question mark you will get from zero to hundred zero means low hundred means high secure so whenever we are using inside by default it is going to assign as a hundred whenever we are using outside by default it is going to assign as a zero so i we can assign manually like this also okay when we done this one after that if we check show interface ip brief you will get the ip that means you need to define the security level when you define the security level after that only this ip will assign to that interface so now we have the ip for this interface if you want to save wr we will save this one now i need to go to another interface this is another interface ethernet one so i will write here interface ethernet one okay i go under that one i will write ip address and here we plan 192.168.1.100 so let me write here 192.168.1.100 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt and also we can write name if inside okay inside automatically he assign himself as a security level we can leave because whenever we are giving inside he is taking as a hundred or if you want to define you can define also security level as a hundred okay later when we have the dmz we can define as a security level 50 later in the coming laps we are going to do that one now if you want to check the status of the interface we can write show uh, ip interface brief in the router but here we write show interface ip brief so now we have the ip to the both the interface if you see this one and this one both are having the ip and i can press ctrl z i can write wr to save this one if you want i can write show ip to check the ip address if you see this one this detail i am getting from here to here this is a system ip address both are same only system ip address and the current ip address both are same only he is showing two time this is system and this is currently what is assigned same thing we have here this is the ethernet zero we assign the name as a outside and the ip we give this one and this is a subnet mask and the ethernet one we give as a inside and this ip we assign and this is a subnet mask we given okay and what else we can do means this is a show command we can use or if you want to check a more specific we can write show running configuration and then interface so with this one we can get the interface detail we can check which interface is having which security level ethernet zero this is a name if we outside security level zero this is a ip address we assign same thing this is a ethernet one name if inside security level 100 and this is a ip address we assign okay and now if you want to check more specific you can say ethernet after that e0 okay so you will get only for the ethernet zero if you want to get for ethernet one you can write in this place as a one so you will get the ethernet one this is the ethernet zero so this all information about the ethernet zero because in the protection network you have lot of thing you need you need to filter you need to filter so we can do this way show running configuration interface whatever the interface number okay so this is some basic stuff what else we can do and we can write show ip already i shown you show let me write here show ip address we can write this way to get that information and uh, we can write show interface uh, ethernet show interface ethernet zero if you want to check ethernet zero ip brief with this way also you can get what i done here if you write show interface uh, ip brief it will show all the interface imagine you have lot of interface if you want to check only particular one one interface then you can write show interface and whatever the interface example this is a ethernet zero 
so you can write show interface ethernet 0 if you want to check ethernet 0 if you want to check ethernet 1 then write show interface ethernet 1 ip brief so you will get the ethernet 1 ethernet 1 information whatever you want to check for the one okay so this is just shortcut if you want in your, in your production network if you want to check that one this is the basic stuff what we plan to learn in our first uh, video part one we learn something in the second we learn something this is the topology we are going to use in the coming classes because this is the most important topology we will do starting basic lab in this one that's why i created so in our next class what we are going to do we are going to discuss device management how we can manage the device by using the console port because all the cisco device is having the console port whenever we buy new router firewall or anything we have console port we will take the console cable we will configure we will connect and we will access the firewall and we will configure the username password and then we can access through telnet or ssh so in the coming classes we are going to learn that one now this is just basic part two okay thank you